Hi guys, so um, right, this is going to be a really difficult one for me. Um, it's called Honey Slim Pickings and it's the brainchild of Ali Brown. Thanks, Ali. <laughs> uh, the idea is basically she uh, had to um, she, she had to go to her grandmother's funeral and so in her haste she packed her art supplies but really wasn't thinking about what she was packing and she just threw loads of stuff in her bag um, and her, her art journal and the point in this is when she went to do some journaling she found that she was really restricted with what she put in her bag she didn't really think about what she put in there so she's like oh my goodness how am I going to create if you go to her video she'll probably explain it so anyway the challenge is to get your honey so it could be your husband your partner your any loved one basically in this case it would be my husband there. <laughs> and um they've got to pick five items um i'm not allowed to help them i will just tell him where everything is though and he's got to pick five items and then what i do is i will go off and i'll craft using those and it will stretch me as an artist and then the challenge is for you to go and do the same so um yeah, I'm just going to go and film him now. Right, hang on a sec. Right, this is my lovely craft area. It's a teeny, teeny, tiny space that is just overflowing. Literally, I have a desk, window, sewing area, some baskets, mess under there. Um, so yeah, it's a really, really tight space, which means I have to be super creative when it comes to organization so right Erin stand over there hello Hi. so embarrassed aren't you yep <laughs> you've got Ali to thank for this cheers Ali thank you very much okay right okay. it's it's so American isn't it honey slim pickings right yeah you notice I haven't got curtains but that's because um if I have curtains here um it creates so much darkness so I have to yeah I need as much light as possible but anyway Erin right okay. okay so um you have to be quick because my battery's quite low but let's see okay my paints you have to pick five items my paints are in there okay so you can pick paint you can pick um some washi in here but all my main washi's in these so you can pick washi my paints are there uh pastels I've got these out so you can choose paints whatever watercolor so you've got yeah, paints, watercolours, other different mediums there. Pens in here, you've got to pick five. You can't, five items. items, you can't right. pick a bunch of pens. Okay. Um, and then you've got, um, you can actually pick ephemera as well. Okay, uh, what's ephemera? There's stuff in this bowl. <laughs> right, here. okay. Cut out pieces of pretty pictures that I can use. You can pick a, one of them, or so I don't know. So, oh, more pens. Near my can of Diet Coke. Bits in here, pens in here. Look at this nice pen. Look at this pen that I haven't tried yet. <laughs> um, some more pens in here. Uh, right, just go and pick five things. I've got to film you now. Right. I can put the colours. Pick whatever you like. This is where I said that I should have. Um, subliminally messaged him while he was sleeping with colours and different things. Right. You sure? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what's pain and what's not. Can I just pick five things? I'll tell you. Yeah. Okay, so great. One of the most difficult colours to use. Oh you're picking my watercolours, my travelling watercolour set. No I'm sure that's allowed. It's an item and it goes in my travelling bag so uh, yep. Look, a man looking yeah. through washi. <laughs> Bear in mind, I've got to create something with these, okay? I, I have no idea. You just going to pick five items? Okay. Picked um, my recollections purple washi, marble washi with gold foil. Yay. That's three. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's proper. No, it's good. You're colour coordinated. I didn't even oh, need to speak to him in his sleep. <laughs> awesome. That's four. Um, what, is, it, is it a paper or thing or anything like that? Um, no, it doesn't really include. I'm going to use my art journal, which isn't really included. So, oh, he's found the inks. Let me zoom in. What have you found there? 
I don't know, peacock feathers. I think three, three, three. That, you can, you can, yeah, pick, mm -hmm. pick right. any of them. Right. Really? Yep. Well, that's pretty awesome, actually. I think I've, uh, Ali, I really hope watercolour sets are allowed, but this does come travelling with me, so it's counted as an item. Yeah, so he's got the uh, peacock feathers, distress stain, a bit of uh, paper, ephemera, washi, and wild violet acrylic paint. Well, then you can go and watch football now. You're welcome. Or soccer in America. <laughs> Bye. Bye! Okay, so um, I'm going to be using my journal planner well, it's a documented life planner um, and if you haven't already seen my video this is there is a video on this journal um, it's basically a planner um, and like a like a document my life in here and it gives me options to journal and to um, do some artwork on the pins so like here and I've like Put interactive elements in as well so uh, I could journal underneath this bit but I left it so uh, I just thought it was nice like that so uh, um, trying to find places where I've journaled so yeah there's there is space to journal to do your art to document your life and to plan so it's really really uh, versatile so I thought I will um, week 15 I'll use my tip in here for the products that my husband's chosen um, I am going to give myself grace because when I go to when I travel I do have the essentials so like obviously scissors um, glue and um, I want to say stick back plastic all the time double-sided sticky tape um, I generally carry around like a couple of different um, widths as well so um, yeah I will use these um, I am going to challenge myself though because I'm not going to use a pen what I thought you could do is set out if you wanted to create a page for journaling um, or to put a photo in and you're, you're traveling and you don't have a cat your um, you can't print off any images or anything uh, you can set out the page ready for when you, so it's all ready and set up for when you come back, you can leave it blank to journal on or to stick your photo on. So uh, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, just zoom in a bit. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's really, really difficult. I thought I would um, start with this and then progress. It's like the watercolours though as well, I've got these, um, I don't know, I'm just going to have a think, I'm going to speed it up now, um, this process, and I have no idea how long it's going to be, fortunately it's going to be speeded up, so um, yeah, right, okay, I'll make a start.
this is really 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 out of my comfort zone and um, I absolutely love the colours I love the purples and I love the gold and I love the marble of the effect of the um, washi but my thinking behind this this is not a finished page I have prepared the page to be journaled on and to add a photo as well um, so this creates a background for uh, some journaling which is why I've kept this back because sometimes when I add a photo I like to add um, a little extra um, maybe behind it um, so it's an added element um, but when I, I realized when I was cutting out the paper I just naturally assumed because of the colors of this paper um, I assumed it was just going to be that but then like you saw in the video when I turned it over I, I re near missed ripping poor face uh, Al's face in half um, and I love, honestly have to show you this, how stunning this is, but look how stunning the colours are in that tail. I mean the artwork in that in itself is gorgeous and um, if I put it on this background it doesn't show as much but if I put it on the background of the washi I noticed it pulled out all those colours. Um, so that was my thinking behind that and I love little elements like layered elements like this just scrap pieces just added here just adds interest and especially if you um add some kind of writing on there i mean i have this sort of thing i mean obviously i can't use this now because this wasn't part of the challenge but i have a page it's all ready now for me to add the writing on um which sometimes i do with uh, a type on vellum is it vellum um, yeah, type on vellum. So I'm distracted. I'm looking out the window just now and there's the most beautiful sunset. It's gorgeous. Uh, yeah, so I type just like I did on the one that I showed you before. Um, and I find this here. I find this has actually got um, gold, not gold, glitter bits in the paper. Can you see um, the glitter? See if it picks up on the camera and the vellum. There you go. Um, but if I type on something like this or even on tracing paper, it it um, you can still see the page, the artwork behind it, but it kind of tones it down because I feel that this colour for me is too dark and should only be really used um, sparingly. Um, so I will probably do that and then I will add maybe photo here and then um, some words it's like it's just another process in itself I can't say now exactly what I'll do but when I sit down with the photo and what I want to put down in words um, then it's sort of I kind of like I don't know you know do exactly what I did with this page you know I place everything and I see what fits and I just I'm really actually really pleased with how this has turned out I love all the, these colours um, and the colours in the owl here and just the way that I have space now to different places, different elements where I could add words. Um, so it doesn't have to be these, obviously it can be any, um, any stickers or anything um, or alphabet stickers, anything. just love how the colour of this tassel I've got goes with this page. Um, so yeah. Um, with the watercolours, I decided because um, I'm using this basically for everything, I thought I would prepare this page with watercolours. Um, hang on, where's the one that I had? Uh, I think I've done mostly acrylic. I think this was with the watercolours. Yeah, it was. So it's toned down. And then what I do is I add stuff on top of that. So um, it looks really plain here now, but what I could do is use this washi, cut it into thin strips, um, or I could even use obviously different ones, obviously, because this now I can use whatever I want in this page, you know, but this is just to show you um, when you're away and if you're limited with your supplies, what you can do. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's all prepared. I have this piece I've kept by with a clip here. And then um, sometimes as well, it's really good to 
walk away from something so it's really good that I have this opportunity to walk away because when you come back you get fresh ideas so um, yeah that's pretty much it oh and another thing I did I thought I'd experiment with different things so I did the dripping technique and then when I went to um, collect up little like pools of ink with this it had this effect that you probably saw me keep going like this but it had this amazing effect I really really liked it and I did a bit here because I wanted to um, like just have some balance but if you see a bit like here and then um, some of it is hidden but I just love it's like a blood sort of like a splatter effect a bit going on here that's why I did some more here because I wanted to show that effect um, so I will probably post how I when I go do go back to this how I finish this page um, so yeah I shall stop rambling now this is mine um, go and check out I'm going to link below of all the other people who are all the other youtubers who are taking part in this challenge that Ali set up um, there's quite a few of us and I'm really interested to, to see what they've done um, it's so difficult because like I know when I when I watch theirs I'm gonna be like oh why did I think of that but Oh, I don't know. I'm, I am really am honestly happy. This is my favourite, favourite element here. So um, there's a lot going on, isn't there? So yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm actually um, really pleased. I didn't know how, um, what to expect, to be honest. So yeah, so go check out um, everyone else's channels below. I'm going to link to their channels because not everybody's able to post on the same day. Um, but if you subscribe to them or just, you know, keep just keep an eye out on their channels for their videos, they will be um, uploaded um, as the days, the, these next few days as the week goes on. So um, thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, leave them below and I will get back to you. Okay, so it's the next day. I added a photo of the journal with a completed page and... Um, a short explanation as to what the challenge is about. I typed it up with my typewriter on a piece of vellum. And overall, I'm really, really happy with it. There's lots of layers going on. Um, the colour theme just goes really, really well. Um, I know some people probably would have, um, like I thought afterwards, I had a whole watercolour set, but I had to use these colours as well. And they, I just thought it, it didn't go, I'd rather just use the watercolours on this page, um, ready for the week, and then keep this page separate as a kind of like a piece of art on its own. So, um, yeah, oh, sorry, and I added a sticker here, and this one here as well. So, yeah, overall, really happy, and I'm off to check out everybody else's. See you soon, bye. Mm -hmm.